Can you make a small hand wheel without a casting? On this episode, I give it a go. Starting with some scrap steel and turning it into this. So stick around if you want to find out how. Welcome to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. I start with a piece of steel from my scrap bin, which I fit into the collet chuck on the lathe. The first step is to clean up the blank. Once that's done, I'll check the diameter and set the digital readout. Once the face is done, I move to the back, using the putting tool to remove excess material. Once that's done, I remove the excess oil, form the curved shape with the lathe file, and then finish with some emery cloth. Before I finished here, I should have put a relief in the face, but it didn't occur to me, so we'll have to come back to it later. The next step will be to take this over to the mill, setting up on the collet chuck on the rotary table. The rotary table has already been zeroed on the digital readout, so once the part's mounted, we're all ready to go. We notice at this point I've drilled four holes. These are to remove some of the excess material and give a starting point for the machining. To cut the spokes of the hand wheel, I'll use the rotary table to move to each of the quarters. The mill table is offset in the X direction to cut either side of the spokes and I move backwards and forwards in the Y direction to make the cut. I'm making my cuts with a 3mm carbide end mill and I'm making my cuts in two passes for the depth as an end mill of this size isn't rigid enough to make the cut in one pass. Once the spokes are cut, I've moved my attention to cutting the inside of the wheel. For this I set the X axis of the mill table to zero. Use the Y axis for radius.
Since I've been all the way around the wheel, I moved to make the center cuts. This follows the same process, using the Y axes to set the radius. With the openings cut in the hand wheel, next step is to take it back to the bench. There I'll file the inside curves of the hand wheel, using a small needle file. While I was doing the filing, I realised I need to make a relief in the face, so I popped it back in the lathe and sorted that out. You must catching that on camera? The next step we have is a threaded hole for the handle. So I drill a tap sized hole and then tap the hole using a spring tapping guide to keep it centered. I really want this part to look like a casting as that's what it would have been on the prototype. So I'm gonna use the sandblaster to remove the machining marks and soften the corners. I'm using some garnet for my blast media. As usual, that worked great. And it's pretty hard to tell this isn't a casting at this point. The next step will be pop this back in the lathe and drill and tap the centre hole. While I've got in the lathe, I polish up the outside of the hand wheel. This once again matches the full size version. After that it's time to part it off. Right, now we have a hand wheel, but we still need a handle to finish this off. So let's pop over to the lathe and whip one up. I'm using some free machining steel that was close at hand but it's way oversized, but this is a little wasteful. I've cut the section for the thread, and now I'm freehanding the curved handle. Once it's roughed out with the lathe tool, I move to a file on the lathe. Once I've smoothed the shape, I use some emery paper for a final cleanup. Now we need to cut the small thread. This is M2.5, and I use the side of the tool post to square the die as I start. Once the thread's cut, I shorten it down to size. 
I always like to add a little bit extra length when I cut threads with a die holder, as the first threads were always a bit damaged. Right, now we're ready for final assembly. Well, as much final assembly as we've got to do. I was really pleased with how this turned out. This really exceeded any expectations I had for this part. And I'll certainly be keen to make another one when the need arises. So keep this in mind if you're making a hand wheel. You might be able to save yourself a casting and create a really nice part from scratch. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode, and share it with a friend. And I'll catch you next time.